What's up? Welcome to another Goalie Tips video. It's been a while since I've done these, and I'm going to be doing them a little bit more. As you guys know, I am now live streaming on YouTube, so you guys can see gameplay, see the tips in action, and then the videos are going to be where the tips come from. Oh, before we get too far, make sure you like and subscribe, okay? You're excited for this video. Let's get into it. So these Goalie Tips are going to be about cameras. Now, I know I've done a video like this in the past for a previous hockey game. But this video is going to be more on different concepts of the cameras and what each one is used for in certain situations depending on skill level, your ping, all of these different factors to have your perfect camera for every game so you can dominate. So we're just going to start with the simple cameras, the low, the high, the fixed. So we're going to start at high. High and low are very similar so we're going to count them as the same. We're going to start with high. High camera is beautiful. This camera, you can see where your goalie is positioned while looking at the puck at the same time. You can position easily, you can still read the plays, so it's not a bad camera. I still use this camera from time to time. Now like every other camera, we're going to go through what each camera is good for. So this camera is good if you have a team that gives up a lot of shots and close shots, or if you're playing fours because you face a lot of breakaways and tight cross creases. It's also good if you want to get your angles down. You can really position yourself a lot easier. I can see exactly where I need to go, where I need to be, so it's a beautiful camera for that aspect as well. Also, we need to take into account the ping. Let's say you have 100 ping. You don't want to use a high camera for 100 ping. You want to use a lower camera like this one, because the higher the ping, the lower your camera should be. You just feel more spry and more controlled in net when you have a lower camera on high ping. So please always remember this. The higher the ping, the lower the camera. So I think we covered that nicely. Now let's move on to fixed. Fixed is the camera that most goalies, everyone that you've watched YouTube videos on, most goalies would tell you to use the fixed camera. But why? Well let's get into it. This camera is basically a raised version of the high camera. You can still position yourself well, but you can see more of the ice. Now, I use this camera a lot, right? And I think most people do. So yeah, this is a very middle ground camera, but like you just saw from that goal right there, you can't position yourself as easily. Truthfully, you can't. I mean, you right there, I thought I was in position, but I just got sniped. So that's why this camera might not be good if you aren't perfect with your positioning and if you're playing a more arcade type of hockey. This is good for sixes in realistic hockey, but I wouldn't really say so for if you're gonna face a lot of close things, a lot of shots, a lot of weird glitch goals, you don't want this camera for those types of things. But it's a beautiful camera for if you wanna read plays, uh, high dangerous one-timer opportunities, tips, and things like that. So while fix is a very popular choice, if you're new to goalie, I wouldn't recommend it. I would recommend you start on high or low for maybe five or six games so you can get used to the movements get used to the angles how to position your goalie and that way then you can upgrade and graduate to the fixed camera to where you can start worrying about more high dangerous plays and opportunities now this is kind of an honorable mention because not many people use this camera but i think it's very underrated let's go to action the action camera now most people stay away from this camera because it's behind the glass and most people put this camera away because of that but I think it's a very it's the middle ground of the middle ground you can it's the middle ground between fixed and high you can still see the plays but you you have better control over your angles and I like how the camera moves with your goalie now the only problem with this camera is you can't see the corners if this camera was a little bit wider I think I would use this camera, but it's just not wide enough. I get lost sometimes when the puck goes in the corner. All right, with that said, now let's move on to, I think, the ice camera. Now, this camera is the ice camera. This camera seems like it follows the puck. It doesn't rotate, and you can read the plays sticking to one side, which I think is a beautiful idea because most plays only stick to one side unless you're facing from boards to boards one-timers, which you barely ever face. So it sticks to one side of the ice, you can read the plays. Now, if again, if you're not well positioned, you don't want to use this camera. You want to use this camera specifically for reading plays and if you have low ping. If you have high ping, you don't want to use a high camera like this. Now let's move to classic and overhead. I'm going to put 
these two in their own group because classic and overhead are basically the same. Overhead is just a higher version of classic. So classic. So this camera is basically just like ice, but it doesn't stick to one side. You can see the entire ice in one view. So I'm going to say the same things. If you have high ping, you don't want to use this camera because you will not move as good. With high ping, you already feel slow with high cameras because the higher the camera is, the more your movements feel slow. You aren't literally slow, but you feel slow. To, to see this yourself, just go from just go from classic to low, and then you'll feel the difference. You'll feel much faster with the low camera. And now we're into the broadcast cameras. I don't know anyone who the broadcast cameras. Nobody uses the broadcast cameras. Let's be real here. Unless you're just messing around or playing offline and having fun or simulation you don't want to use the broadcast cameras so we're gonna move straight to the dynamics dynamic low dynamic medium and dynamic high because these three cameras I think are underused they are a very nice middle ground between the classic cameras and the fixed cameras it's higher than the fixed but it's lower than the classic so it's a nice middle ground we're gonna start with dynamic low but then we're gonna jump right to dynamic high afterwards so this is just like what I said the it's higher than fixed lower than classic so it's a beautiful camera in that aspect you can read the plays it's kind of like action it, it's very similar to action but it's higher than action as well so it's a nice camera for that aspect you can read the plays it's not too high to where you get lost and you can still feel like your movement is decent we're gonna jump right to dynamic high because dynamic dynamic medium is basically just between these two and you can just view it yourself so dynamic high is I think you should just use this if you want to use a dynamic camera at all because you can see both ends of the ice. With the other dynamic low, you couldn't. So it's a beautiful camera for reading plays, not if you have high ping. If you have low ping, you can read plays. And if you feel good in your positioning, then use this camera. We have one more camera to look at, which is zone. The zone camera is very... I think it's the highest camera in the game. Uh, it might... maybe... Overhead is very close, but zone is very high up. You are very far away. You're literally outside of the arena. And I like this camera because you might think, why would you go any higher than that? Why would you go higher than classic? If classic is the lowest it can be to where you can see the entire ice, why would you go why would you go higher than classic? My answer is it's because you don't need to move your eyes as much. Since you're so high up and all of the ice is in a very tight proximity of your TV screen, you don't have to move your eyes from one end of the screen to the other to look at the cross crease. You can just barely move your eyes, okay I see the cross crease, we're good. So if you are not good in your positioning, do not use this camera. You are asking for death. You want to use this camera if you have low ping, and whatever ping you're comfortable with generally, and if you feel very comfortable in your positioning. Now I know I've said that a lot with a lot of the cameras. But each of these are look different and whatever you feel comfortable with, whatever you want to use and test with, you can find your camera with this video and then you can view it for yourself. Anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful to you guys. I know people ask me about my camera all the time. Now this video hopefully will help you pick your camera and you'll be able to know exactly what to use. Remember, go low for maybe four or five games if you're new to goalie, and then you can graduate to fixed or whatever camera you want to use after that. Make sure you hit the like button, and make sure you subscribe, and I will see you guys next time in the next video. And please, join my live streams, okay? You guys are going to see, a, we're gonna have fun in there, okay? We're starting a live stream on YouTube instead of Twitch. We've moved away from Twitch, we've moved to YouTube. It's gonna be beautiful, so make sure you guys join the live stream sometimes. See you guys then.